Welcome back, my friends, to the Create Mod. And today we are going to build a chocolate factory. We have some lofty goals today, building an entire chocolate factory where flowing goodness is everywhere. And then the end goal, I don't know, don't hold me to this, but the goal today is to build a moat around our factory and fill the entire thing with chocolate. So let's take a look at the delicious, delicious chocolate and what it means in this mod. You can have a bar of chocolate, which is a food. It's not great, but it's definitely fun. You can have chocolate covered glazed berries, which I don't know the quality of that. I think it's a little bit better, but I don't have any plans of dealing with that just yet. You can have chocolate in a bucket form, kind of like milk or water or something like that. And then there's just, you know, fluid chocolate, which is what we're most going to be dealing with today you can store it send it through pipes store it in storage tanks uh, you know that kind of thing so to make the chocolate now okay is what we're looking at over here we need sugar we need cocoa beans we need milk in liquid form okay and then you got to blend it all up in a mixer and you got to heat it we got to get a blaze burner and heat it and out comes delicious delicious chocolate so we got a lot to do today and i've already gotten started our kelp farm that we made a few episodes back well now it's multi-purpose because now it has two well it almost it's almost done i'm working i'm still working on it but it's two layers of sugarcane farm the exact same design exact same concept i lifted the the windmill sails way up in the air because i might have more layers and more things i want to add in between still so this thing still spins the th well, yeah, I'll show you. so here we go i haven't actually turned it on yet but this is the way it works exact same thing i went with this uh kind of this pattern of the water which kind of maximizes the amount of sugarcane per square space so we can grow a ton of sugar cane in here and these wheels spin around you guys remember the kelp farm the harvesters chop it all down it goes into the uh the chest up there and then when it gets uh around and this is one of the, this is blah, and then when the harvester ring comes around the other side it hooks up to the portable interface and the items come out so one of the things we're gonna have to do today is set up a much more complicated system here that is going to be able to filter out different types of items coming out of the farm obviously we want to send the, the kelp over to the kelp lawn Electrificator and to the bone meal processor as you know as we have already but we also need to start supporting sugarcane coming out of here and possibly other things in the future and it appears the sugarcane farm is also a mob farm fantastic so right as you come into my base, I think I want to have the chocolate factory just front and center lined right up. And we'll get into the reasons why in a second. <laughs> but uh, this is basically it. This is the processing center here. This is the mixer and the basin where all the chocolate's going to be made. It'll flow out of that uh, chute or whatever it's called, spout out into the item drain. And then from there, I'll be able to pump it into one of the tanks. I think I'm going to have like this one be chocolate and that one be milk. Um, and then we're going to make these much bigger and stuff, too, to hold a lot more. Um, so that's the general idea. So I think it means, like, we're going to need, again, chocolate is sugar, cocoa beans, and milk. So cocoa beans will come in on that side. Sugar will come in on that side. And then right in the back with the pump. So this will pump the milk from that from that tank into the back here we need a blaze burner down here to heat this thing and then it's going to start getting mixed up and then we get another pump probably like right there uh and then we flip it around so it's pulling out and we'll pump that into the chocolate chocolate tank there and then after the tank is filled up it'll start filling the moat that goes around the entire factory now why do i want this front and center when you come in because the idea i have obviously to get milk you have to milk a cow all right we're gonna get a cow over here and uh we're gonna have a flying cow that's getting launched back and forth and back and forth and every time it does it gets a little uh it gets the bucket if you know what i'm saying so i just think that's gonna be a great to come in here and then see a cow be like so like i said we've got to get sugar we've got to get cocoa beans and we've got to get milk that's the whole process here and then of course we got to actually mix it all together but the first thing i want to tackle is the cocoa beans and for that i obviously have to find some cocoa beans and a jungle tree or two sweet sweet chocolatey bean of happiness where are you hey there mr parrot have you seen any cocoa beans around here biome we're in is actually bamboo jungle i don't know if cocoa beans actually grow here oh here we go there we go there it is mm, back at the chocolate factory and the cocoa bean a little automation device farm whatever you want to call it i think is ready to go uh it's simple right now but i can extend it up vertically if i really want to like increase the output but i honestly think this will be enough 
So uh, so here's the deal. To to grow cocoa beans, right, they have to be planted. They can be hit with bone meal twice. One, two, and it guarantees then that it's a full-size cocoa bean, and then you harvest it and replant it. So what we got here is a spinning device. This is all on a mechanical bearing there. So this center column is going to rotate, okay? And we're going to take advantage of all the sides here. Two of the sides are have deployers on it which are basically going to be just eh, with the bone meal sticking the bone meal into into the cocoa bean so it's going to be bone meal bone meal as it spins around and then harvest and the harvester chops off the cocoa bean if it's at max size and then automatically replants as well and then the fourth side here is the portable interface device which will link up with this gizmotron over here and when it does it's going to unload the cocoa beans and intake some uh some what's the white stuff bone meal so eventually right here this is going to be like a conveyor line or something all the way over from the kelp farm we're going to deliver it over here and we're going to deliver kelp in here or not kelp uh the bone meal in an automated fashion so i just want to throw some in here now like that and not pick it all up very good very good very good okay it's all just sitting there on top now now if i start this thing it should start spinning around and it's like bone wait why did i well oh it's gotta it's gotta hook up there it goes and Oh, I should have. Why didn't it? Why didn't it take in the bone meal? Is it, is it because it's sitting on the side, probably? Oh, <laughs> I'm so good at this. It's because I forgot to put the chest on. Way to go, Sparky. Okay, bone meal deployed. There it goes. And now, as soon as it goes around, there it goes. Sucked it all up. And now the fingers, the deployers, should start grow, grow, and wait for it. Oh, it's, it's unloading and reloading. Chop. And then it goes around again, grow, grow, and chop. Well, almost chop once that's done. So we got a little loop here. Now, I could obviously either scale this up and make it bigger, or I could just spin it faster. And I think spinning it faster is probably what I'll end up doing here. Um, so obviously the, let's see, I got to get the, 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 what do you call it? It's down here now. Should start spitting out. Oh, it's spitting out that. I got to put a filter, put a filter on this so that only the cocoa beans drop out the bottom now. Let's see if when this rotates around, there it is. Perfect, perfect. So simple now. So all I got to do now is route th these cocoa beans over to the uh, chocolateificator in right there. So side little project here. I had, I just had an idea. You guys remember last episode, we made this cobblestone generator where you turn it on and it just generates like a ton of cobble automatically, super fast, and then you turn it off and it's done. And that's great and all, but I want to, I want to actually like invert this a little bit here and not make it lever based, but have it be inventory based. So I got this stockpile switch, which I think can read. I'm not sure if it can read the standard vanilla chest. Oh, it can. Okay, so now I can set a switch here. You see it's filling up. So let's see. Move to lower lane. I, this confuses me, but I like the system. It's really cool. It's like basically you can stop a power signal when it gets above a threshold and you can re-enable it when it gets below a threshold. So in other words, when, as soon as I take some out. So let's take this and hook it up to... Does this... Oh, I got to hook a comparator up to that, I think. No, 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 I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, so let's see. That turns the system off i want to keep it going active i want to scroll this so that it goes until it's basically full and then as soon as i take any out and we'll get say as soon as it gets down to like i don't know whatever 80 percent or so it should kick back on again so i think that'll do it let's wait and see what happens when this fills up it should kick off automatically there it goes okay very cool. It just turned off all by itself. Now, if I just throw some of this on the ground, it shouldn't turn on until it gets to like 80%, which should be right around there. And now it'll kick all the way back on until it gets back to 99%. This is great. Much better. Cobble on demand. Progress back at the chocolate factory. Uh, all right, let's see. First things, I had to move the uh, cocoa bean thing around a little bit. I was getting a lot of problems where this thing was like sticking and moving and like the blocks were all coming apart and everything. You see, it kind of busted out a window there. It was all very weird. So I've played with the, the distance. I think the problem is my radial chassis and stuff. I played with the distance on those and really tightened those up. Whoa! Played with those a little bit more. Um, I'm still also having an issue where the power to my base is temporarily cutting out. And I'm not sure. I think I have to play with the timings over there on the furnace generators. But anyways, I think 
the cocoa bean farm is good. Now, I also added a third row of deployers right there that will attempt to plant the cocoa beans back because there was some times where they were like popping off or something and not, not being replanted. I think it's got to do with how it's pulling the cocoa beans out. I don't know. Anyways, cocoa bean farm should be good. Here we have, I'm gonna remove this block here so you can see. This is the milkificator cow extraction system <laughs> that, uh, well, it's one of them. There will be another one in a little bit, but this is the first one here. Let me hop up here and show you how this works. Okay, so this looks complicated, but it's not bad. The cow's gonna stick his butt right there and get, uh, you know, periodically, <laughs> that does not look comfortable at all. That pokey pokey hand is going to have a filter set so it only picks up empty buckets. And when it does, it will interact with the cow and it'll obviously fill that milk bucket, which will then come out of the andesite funnel there and go on to the drain. The fluid will actually pour into the drain and fill that up. And then the milk bucket, just the empty milk bucket, just kind of rolls off the edge. It's really cool. The funnel will pick it up, put it back up onto the depot there, and then we have an arm here whose sole job is to move the empty bucket from there over to there, from there over to there, and that's it. And then once it goes up there, into the chute, back into the pokey pokey thing for it to pick up another empty bucket and stick it in the cow again. Oh, and and also, I was really kind of struggling with how I wanted to get the cocoa beans from here over to there because it's getting kind of crowded in here already. So what we're doing is I'm using the uh, the weighted entity launchers or whatever they're called. The uh, the cocoa beans come out of there and go right onto that little uh, platform there you can see and they get launched up here onto this guy. And when they land on there, they get launched over here down onto this guy and uh, eventually they go into there that's full right now but those would get sucked in and the process would continue so we kind of have like a conveyor beltless way of moving items they just get launched and then launched and we're gonna do the same thing for sugar cane which i think i'm gonna relocate and start filtering out the sugar cane turning it into sugar i'll probably turn it into the sugar up there and then launch it down so that it lands on this side for the second third of the ingredients for the chocolate Oh, I love this mod. I just love it. everything I do is just so much fun. The sugar cane is being delivered. I decided to go old school and we were conveyor belting it all the way over there. Um, as you can see, the uh, the rates are are blazing. We're being we're being flooded with sugar cane right now. <laughs> Okay, not really. Anyway, up on top of the kelp certificator, I put a brass tunnel in there. And what that allows me to do is filter what item goes where. So the, the sugar cane will come out this side, as you can probably see right now. And the kelp will continue to go out that side. There goes the sugar cane. And it's all but done by putting little filters. You can't really see the filter on that side. It's blocked by that funnel. But those are, you know, we basically have a binary system here now. Kelp that way and sugar cane this way. So the sugar cane, as you can see, is now cruising all the way down the path here uh we have like a nice little glob there i don't even know how much is in there, and then one there so obviously the rates are probably going to be lacking but i just wired the i put a like i put a belt all the way into the base here and just tied into all the gear power that we already had it turns a corner here follows all the way along up up over and eventually it comes up the floor right there and dumps on the floor. So we need to fix this part right now and turn the sugar cane into uh, the sugar because the sugar is the good stuff, right? So let's see here. We're going to try and do some of this on the fly because I know I haven't been doing much building on camera and I know you guys want to see that kind of stuff. I feel like I've been doing too many little, little jumpy cuts. So let's see. That's going to be our mechanical guy. Uh, we want him to uh, we rotate. The, the, the angle we rotate here is where he outputs. We're going to output him into a barrel even though i don't think that's necessary i just kind of like that in case things back up it's, a, it's like an extra buffer uh we're gonna go ahead and put a little a skadoodler right there we're gonna grab a cog and that powers it now super fast so it's gonna be able to convert sugar into uh or sugar cane into sugar very fast now these things here this can be stacked all together if you watch zed he really played with these things i haven't i've been borrowing his system but you can stack these together and create three by three or even five by five recipes with these things they're very very cool but since the recipe for sugar is quite simple we don't really have an issue here so let me say i want to hop in the back here we're going to put a thing right there rotate that around so that's output now so the sugar cane will output out of the barrel go on the conveyor belt now and come over here into this and the sugar will just go right into the basin for mixing into chocolate so we just have to now get let's see uh right i've got a couple of hoppers that's what i intended to do to kind of cut the angle here and another yeah i think that'll do it 
The conveyor ball is not the same speed. This, this conveyor ball might be too slow. Let's see now. So now, with this being powered, the sugar cane should come up here, go in the hopper. We should see sugar cane in there briefly, and then like a little... It should do that. Oh, here we go. Contestants. Okay. In. Craft. Boom. Sugar. Out. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That is very cool. I like it. Look how slow it's coming out, though. Or is that just... Oh, you're right. I bet you that's backing up. Nope. Nope, nope, don't want that. Yeah, it's backing up in the barrel. I probably gotta make this faster, but again, I only need to make that faster if this, if, if that's the bottleneck, it might not be. You know, we're gonna see what we mix it now. But, but now, this is good. We've got our sugar coming in. We've got our chocolate coming in from over there. We've got part of our, we got to duplicate. We gotta make another milk thing over here. And then that's when the fun begins. I have been busy. Huge update here, okay? Obviously, we have the second uh, milkificator up there, which we're going to play with in just a second. But more importantly, there was like a ton of things. Oh, why is this stopped? Okay, there we go. Uh, this is all changed. Now, this is now a triple source conveyor belt action system here. It delivers the sugar cane that we were delivering before. It also now obviously delivers bone meal, and that is to automatically continue power the uh the cocoa bean farm over there and it delivers uh these things kelp blocks whatever they are uh for the blaze burner okay and this arm here reaches over here grabs them and sticks them into the blaze burner when it needs to so that the blaze burner is always powering and we use brass tunnels here to filter out the items you see the sugar cane bone meal and the cooked kelp blocks there so they're all coming up here and i had all the systems the 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 kelp blocks funneling in the bone meal funneling it and the sugar cane all funneling in underground under this conveyor here and they, yeah, they just get filtered through. So pretty cool. Everything is now self-sufficient. So the other thing I have been diligently working on for the past few hours is a, the beginnings of a moat. Not the beginnings, the endings of a moat. It's crude. It's not very great. You know, no, no amazing terraforming here or anything. But I have a little tiny moat that goes around the entire base now and i did a little bit a little bit of terraforming in the back here just to kind of make it all make sense and everything and this stone here when it's filled up we're gonna we're gonna have that as a waterfall so we're gonna fill the entire moat here with chocolate that is a lot of chocolate this is this is this is a bold claim i don't know if i can actually make this much chocolate but we're definitely gonna try now obviously if we're gonna make just billions of gallons of chocolate we actually have to start you know making chocolate and <laughs> to do that we have to get our three four supply lines working we got our sugar we got our cocoa beans we got our fuel for the heat to melt the chocolate all we need now is the milk source and if there's one place that i know i can always rely on as a good milk source it's Zeta. so here we are let's see if i can hook some of these guys up we got four leads uh provided by the wandering uh tra traveler salesman guys whatever all right can i how are we gonna do this here can you guys just kind of like be cool and and jump out like that that would be awesome that's not gonna happen is it okay i'm probably gonna regret this but let's see what happens if i do this come on cows one two three four yes i think we got we got him i think come on out all right let's close up the hole there with apparently a wooden plank. Get back in the hole. Okay, good. Let's go, cows. You guys have a bright future. Now, you might be asking yourself, why did I bring over four cows? And the answer to that is, well, <laughs> I expect some of them to die. So, uh, yeah, full disclosure here, just to kind of keep you guys in the loop here. I was just having a conversation with the cows. They, uh, they, oddly enough, oddly enough, they were expressing some extreme concern over the, uh, you know, the violent thrusting bucket fist of painfulness. Uh, but I, I, I assured them that it would be perfectly normal, uh, you know, natural uh, activity that's going to happen inside that uh you know area eeny meeny miny mo catch a cow by its udders you are the lucky contestant on get milked let's go betsy you can do it get up here into trust me everything's fine in there there's nothing in there that's gonna hurt you too frequently go ahead come on okay one more one more up on top of the container and nope no no don't hang yourself oh, no, not on the gears 
go. Betsy. What are you? Okay. Okay. This isn't how this is supposed to go down. Let's see what happens now. Down here. Come on. Yep. Okay. Let's try that again. Let me get some dirt blocks. Okay. Attempt number two for utterification. Let's go. Up, 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 up. No escape this time. Into the happy fun time area. There you go. No, no, no. You, how did you walk past that? No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've decided to swap out cow's milk for the new secret ingredient, Tango's milk. There we go! Oh! Get power milked! Okay. <laughs> oh, this is this is gonna be the greatest thing ever. Okay, hang on. <laughs> okay, why did it stop that? There's a milk bucket on the drain. Did I oh oh there it is, there it is. Okay, yeah. My my pump is going backwards. It needs to do that. There we go. Milk. It does the body good. There it goes. Oh, my power supply. Uh, oh, it's filling up. The, it's actually filling up the tank and the floor. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. when Once that fills up, is it working? Huh. Okay. It looks like the arm is not... I, I got to cover this up or I'm going to go back in there. It looks like the arm is not picking up the empty milk bucket. Uh, it's being powered. Um, let's see. Let me just re replace this maybe try again. So we'll shift click on that. Uh, no, 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 no. We want to make that yellow. Yellow means wait, take items is blue. I think yeah, take items from depot and deposit items to that depot. I think I might've just had that backwards. Bam, there it goes. Loop. Oh, it's amazing. Okay. Uh, Oh, the, the tank is full. Okay, this is great. So you can see the, the what is it? The item drain there. The the milk comes out there, sits on there, and drains into the into the fluid drain, gets sucked up that uh, funnel there, and then the arm just dumps it back up onto the other depot or it falls down the chute and loops through the system. So this cow is just getting perpetually milked. Oh, okay. And you can see it's starting to fill up the massive milk tank there. So 3,000 out of 432,000. We're on our way. Well, the good news is the milk is almost filled. We've got a ton of milk stored up here. Uh, the bad news is I'm getting some serious performance issues. Uh, I mean, obviously we got a lot going on here at this point, but the game, and I'm gonna walk back and forth here. You're probably gonna see it. The game keeps hitching a lot. Like some event is causing everything to reevaluate or something and it just locks the game up for like a few seconds we'll see if it happens there and of course now that i'm waiting for it to happen it's not going to happen okay moving on we have now arrived at the point in the video where we will likely lose our first cow those of you that are paying attention you know what's about to happen right there's a reason we have two milkificators and only one cow in play here because we're gonna launch the cow between the two milkificators and have an airborne milking process because because we can so i gotta break i'm hoping he doesn't just jump off or she sorry she doesn't just jump off if i do that i break that and now i powered this oh <laughs> Are we gonna still get milked is the question. We got milked. <laughs> <It's great. laughs> Gotta wait for this to drain. Oh, got him. It's it's the milk and go process. And I think I can get rid of this glass here now to make it look even better. <laughs> this is gonna be so great. Okay. Oh, airborne milkification. I, I gotta get buckets in this side. Okay, I'm gonna put two buckets right there that get scooped up and... I want to see if this side milks. No. No. Oh, it's just rotating the empty thing around. No, why are you looping? Okay, well, it's supposed to... Uh, oh, I think I got to set a filter. Aha, that's right. I don't have a filter on the, on the pokey bits. Go. Yeah. Milk. 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 I want to time it so that it milks once per launch, but I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work. I think. All right. So I got to start playing with the rotation speeds of these things. They're launching way too fast. I'm going to need very specific because basically the faster you spin this, the, the quicker that thing pulls back. See how fast that's pulling back? Like it's like launch spin, 
launch spin. It's like ready to go like half a second after it launches. So if you got that on maximum rotation speed, if we if we lower that, it'll take a lot longer to be ready to launch and it might allow the cow to sit there for a little bit. But I'm afraid the cow is going to come down and just jump down here. I got this pipe here. The cow may jump on that pipe. It is time to open the chocolate factory. We got our cocoa beans being delivered. We got our sugar being delivered. We got our blaze burner being fueled. We got our milk being piped in. In this basin here, we've just got sloshy goodness. Everything's all ready to go. All we got to do is turn on the mixer. And to do that, I believe... All I got to do is do a little a yoink and a little a yoink and chocolate is getting made. There it goes. Oh, through the pipes. Hold on. I want to, I want to, I want to see, I want to see the chocolate. There it goes. Chocolate in <gasps> chocolate filling up. <laughs> this is great. Chocolate's being made so fast. Look at it. Blop, blop. Blah. Okay, sugar is being delivered. Cocoa beans are <laughs> flying cows. Cocoa beans are not being delivered. I think just because I got to turn this guy on now. And now he should have plenty of bone meal. Yep, he sure does. Uh, how do I turn this thing on? I forget. Oh, right. There's a switch over somewhere. Right. Super convenient location. And go. Okay. Got it. Make the cocoa beans. And it loops around. We should see a cocoa bean launch through the air. Cocoa bean. Launch. Okay. I think it launched. I saw one go. I want to see another one go. There it goes. Oh, well, here it comes. Oh, wait. Did the did the cow <laughs> did the cow intercept the cocoa bean? <laughs> did, the, did that really just happen? There goes another one. Up. Oh, it looks like it's disappearing. Maybe it's just lag. Maybe it's actually hitting here and just going in super fast. I mean, until the chocolate stops, I think we're just going to assume the cocoa beans are flying. They keep disappearing. They got to be landing. They got to be landing. Chocolate's being made. We're good. 14,000 millibuckets of chocolate. Mega buckets. I don't know. Many buckets of chocolate have been made. Now what we got to do is pipe it. We have to pipe our chocolate into the uh into the the well, what's what's the word for this thing so the into the moat the moat the, the chocolate moat where do i i think we gotta get right there no 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 i, I bumped betsy <laughs> i bumped betsy go go back go back yeah are we good we're good <laughs> back to betsy bouncing <laughs> well, I wasn't recording. That happened. I'm putting in this little piping system here. And this is temporary because obviously once the moat is filled, we're going to, uh, this will all come down. But we're piping the chocolate out of there over all this down here. And uh, we got some chocolate flowing already. <laughs> this stuff looks great. But the problem is this is not how you fill something. If you do it this way, it just kind of flows like water. And then that's it. What we need is this guy. It's called the hose pulley, and it is used for placing or draining large fluid bodies in the world. So we need to get one of these things and give it some, like, like it lowers a hose into the area you want to disperse it at and then the magic with the rotation and the chocolate and blah, 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 blah. this is the moment i've been waiting for and sadly it's also the moment i am most unsure of what's going to happen i'm going to connect this it's going to start piping the chocolate over there now down across all this don't step on any pressure plates the, the chocolate should be coming out over here now and now i've got one of these hose pulley things rigged up to a gear shift plugged it into the side of the base here and now i don't know you know what let's uh let's see if the, oh there's the chocolate okay the chocolate's there so now if i lower this in i, I i'm not sure how this works and okay oh <laughs> Look at it. Okay, this is what I was hoping. This is what I was hoping. Now it's going to basically fill chocolate source blocks out as far as it can go. But what I don't know is what happens when it meets a different level. Does it does it fill that lower level? Let's find out. I think. Oh, it does. It does. Okay. <laughs> okay, so hold on now. If I let let me let me, let me, let me block this off here because I want to science this up for now. Okay. Let's see what this does. If I block this off, 
Will it continue filling up just this moat? Okay, it stopped. It stopped. It stopped. I think that's good. So I think what I really want to do is like have this at the top height because I want the chocolate to come right up to there. So if I lift this and then we put a block there, I think. Now, if we lower this back down. Okay, we can break this, break that. I wonder if we could even break the block below it. Oh, now it lowers down in. That's not what I want. Whoa. Okay, I think that's what I want. Lower it back down in. That's so cool looking. It looks like it's actually unwinding. And now right here, I think is the height we want. So it should fill up. Again, it starts at the lowest and, and spreads all around. This is so cool. This is going to take a lot of chocolate. How's my pipe? How's my stat? Oh, look, the, ta the tank's still almost full. We're good. We're good. Okay, well, let's see if this fills up. Swimming in my river of chocolate, how delicious. I mean, if you're gonna go out, right, is there really a better way? An entire moat filled with chocolate. We've got one thing left I wanna do here, and that's why this stone was here. I wanna make this, I have no idea what happens like when, when chocolate hits water, but we're gonna find out right now. And I want this all to flow down here. Let's zzz. The other side over here. <laughs> well, it's a bit symmetrical. The terraforming could use some work, but I like it. I like it. Oh, hi, zombie. So to fill the entire moat, I had to fill this chocolate tank up, I think, five or six times. Many, many hours. And it turns out this is my bottleneck, the sugar cane. Uh, I, I could actually get the, cho the cocoa beans cranking if I did a little bit manual and I kind of turned off the, the portable item, you know, interface and stuff and just let, let this thing spin around. Plenty of that. The milk never even dipped below full. The milk's been full the entire time. Sugarcane. I need, I, I, I'll, I'll eventually need to make another layer on the sugarcane farm there because this was what was slowing me down. But... It did okay. It kept up for the most part. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this chocolate factory tango style. I had so much fun building this thing with the flying cows and all the piping and everything. So much new tech went into this thing that we haven't seen yet. And it was just so much fun. Very rewarding, but it definitely took a lot of time. So as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.